What's going on guys, and Sizer here, and welcome back to another Overwatch live commentary. Today we're going to be playing the new Overwatch hero, Orsara. And as you can see, I've got a gold gun for her, and um, the new legendary skin. Her abilities, let's go over them quickly. Her left click, right click actually, sucks in all enemies from a nearby radius. Her E creates a small shield, and her left shift creates a shield around her, or not an actual shield, but it's called Fortify. It reduces her damage, dealt by damage taken by 50%. Once in jumping up, even that. So there's a Genji in the center, let's make sure we deal with that. Why is the Torbjorn's turn up? I'll protect that. Nope. So as you can see, I'm gonna suck the Hanzo in. Try and take him out there, but unfortunately nothing happens. Shooting the Hanzo up there. I'm gonna put the barrier over here, blocking any damage from coming in. Oh, as you can see there, we have an enemy. Oh, sorry, yeah. And she just sucked the most in there. Okay, so how will Ursara affect the meta? She'll probably actually, I think, will be the next Ana. I think if you can play her right, she's very effective and strong. While if you can play her wrongly, she can be very weak. But Ana was not that weak if you played wrong. Like as you can see there, that's an example of a bad one. So, what is she really strong at? She's very good at, um, what do you call it? Close range damage. If you can give her close range damage, she's super, super powerful. Um, if you do not have a good healer, that's one of the big problems for Ursa. She can really die quite quickly without a good healer, so you better need that. So as I'm gonna do there, I'm gonna put up the shield in front of the turret, not letting anyone shoot it. She's gonna be very effective using that with a Bastion and many other types of characters. One thing about her, I don't know, is it just me or do you feel like you're playing D.Va when you're playing her? Like, do you think you'll get fall out of a mech or do you think you're gonna, you know, die? Here are tracers behind. Frames are definitely not on my side right now. Suck the tracer. Yeah, okay. I think she have the teleporter. No, where's this tracer gone? Okay, here, taking out the uh, enemy. Ah, oh, she's taking out my shield. Here you can see I'm very low. And oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. So fortify. Ah, oh, but it just go down. But as you can see there, when she's shooting, she is very, very, very slow. So you have to be very careful doing that. Especially against an enemy one. Or like a Junkrat can easily destroy you. Are we go taking out the Tracer. Pushing forward a little bit, shooting the D.Va. But getting evaporated. See if we can get behind her. Nope, she's just being smart about it now. We're gonna fortify here, make sure that we don't take a lot of damage from this. Put down a shield. And just kind of sit behind the shield. The Nyata there is gonna be going down. Oh no, he's not. Oh, no, so low. Oh, she would have got her. We got a far now. Let's see how well she does against the far. Yeah, I am not being able to shoot her. Oh, but there we go. Um, the Torbjorn turn taking her down. Oh, someone's on the point. Ah, uh, taking out the Hanzo as we. Got to fortify there. I think also the shield can be used as an aggressive strategy. Ah, oh. but Hanzo is such a powerful enemy there. That's where I feel like she's really gonna lack. So easy, couldn't even damage him. 
I think if she's gonna need a good healer at a Reinhardt, then she can be very helpful on a defense. On offense, she just... I feel like she would kind of whack. No, 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 no. That's bad, that's right click. We're gonna need some... There's a Sombra, yeah, there's a Sombra. I'm gonna fortify here. Put up the barrier. Taking out the Sombra. Oh, really, there's a Nyata to come out. But. Shooting down the enemy diva. Or she is getting hit. And team finish her off. Gonna get behind the bastion here. Nope. Taking out the Bastion there. Get back on the point to help my team take out the D.Va. Taking out the Sombra. <laughs> Enemy was right there, taking me out. Oh, I'm not on down. I'm gonna pop the all on the point. Put a shield in front of it. Taking out the Enemy of here. Taking out the Ana. Taking out the Bastion! Checking the point! Jumping right to the next round! Getting absolutely murdered as I leave the spawn! Instantly popping that fortify! Oh, let's see how she does on attack! My theory is that she's gonna be less helpfully offensive, but we can try this out. I'm gonna try and shoot my sucker in. Suck everyone up together. So that's gonna be very helpful with, per se, a Hanzo ult. Would be launch, and then you'll suck them all back up together. It's just gonna be that little bit extra help. Shooting it in, trying to suck in, failing. I'm gonna fortify here just in case Fari takes me out. As you hear, we actually have a decent comp. I mean, second hand, but. Oh, you're gonna be saved by the Ana as I put up the shield. Should I grab Han? Oh, I'm getting hit by the Hanzo. He's so effective to kill her. It's actually not that big of a target like a Ruid Hog. But the thing is, she only has 400 health, so a headshot's gonna bring her down to 100. And being a tank with a decent size, it easily shut down. On me. Maybe she could have a little bit more armor as a little buff. Oh no! Depends what's gonna happen now. Maybe she's just really good and I suck at her. Probably the case. So, another thing about the Fortify, if you are hit by a Reinhardt all, I think a Zarya all maybe even, and a Fire knockback, anything that really move you, maybe even a boop from a Lucio, you will not be booped or moved. Getting down as a Hunter all pops. Taking out the enemy while well, Zenyata pops his ult, so we're gonna get back. Hanzo is behind us. Hanzo behind boys. Gonna pop the fortify here. Gonna be absolutely slaughtered by the Hanzo and I think their Ana was there too. Wow, that headshot is so powerful. Headshot, body shot, and she's gone. Oh, nice. We got a double on with the Hanzo. Taking in the point. Zenyatta is low. Here, I'm actually going to pop my ult. Oh, I'm going to get powered up. Oh, performance anxiety. Oh, 
Man, she's so tough, but capturing the point there, very quick round. I she didn't very do much, but, you know, I had fun. It was good playing here. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.